Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. What up, guys? It's me, No Mercy for Noobs here, back again with another video for you guys. What you guys are watching on the background today is a double nuclear with the KSG, gotten by Razor Bosa. And if you're interested in seeing more BC gameplays from him, feel free to go check him out. His link will be in the description, as always, along with mine. So uh, if you want to see more commentaries from me, then uh, feel free to come check me out. But uh, I don't want to talk about the gameplay or promoting us too much because, you know, as we are Razor, we don't like to concentrate solely on the gameplay, but instead pick a topic, have a good commentary, have a good laugh, and just go on with our days. But what I wanted to come here to talk about today on the mic is a little bit of a controversial topic. So I know some of you guys will probably disagree with me and don't want to agree with the opinions that I have. So just feel free to put your own opinions in the comments below because I will be for sure reading those and I really want to hear them. So uh, it is Infinity Ward versus Treyarch who are the two main producers of the Call of Duty series in the name of Activision. And you know what these producers do is pretty much just make a Call of Duty each other year if that makes any sense. Whereas, you know, the Modern Warfare series is in the name of Infinity Ward and the Black Ops series, along with like World at War and such, is in the name of Treyarch. So uh, I wanted to talk about what I feel about these two producers, which one is better, because COD Ghosts, which is made by Infinity Ward, it's just around the corner. And I really hope that uh, Infinity Ward won't make the same mistakes as they did during the Modern Warfare series because there were many many faults in it as I might list uh, death streaks along with like noob tubes one man army danger close so uh, what it comes down to is which one I like better and in my opinion Treyarch can support their games way better they can you know maintain the game it's more of a I guess well put together professional game if that makes any sense whereas like uh, Infinity Ward games seem to be a lot of fucking fun but they seem to be also like really rage inducing due to the fact that they have so many glitches which are in fact patched but it takes time because uh, it's not Treyarch where you know they patch it before anyone even notices it so uh, you guys might have heard about like the token glitch on MW3 which took like ages for Infinity Ward to patch and tons of people knew about it, but they still couldn't do anything about it. And when they patched it, none of the people really got caught for it. But uh, I'm not really interested in talking about that today. So uh, in my opinion, the support for the games is way better on the Treyarch side. But whereas the enjoyability, if that is a word, is more you know, on the side of Infinity War. Because people are saying you know, the longevity of Black Ops 2 is really bad and it has no replay value and such whereas you know infinity ward games i see people going back and getting those sexy ass moabs nukes and that might be one of the reasons i mean there is that one goal which youtubers and pretty much any hardcore gamer can go get it's the highest kill streak it's something really fucking rewarding like the nuke or like the moab whereas in like black ops 2 there's really nothing compared to that except like the nuclear, whereas no one really knows it when you're in the game. I mean, you can't blow up your nuclear. It's just the metal on the screen, which you will show to people if you make uh, YouTube videos. But that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, in my opinion, you know, it's way more fun on the Infinity Ward side, whereas it also gets really way more annoying on the Infinity Ward side. But, uh, you know, since this gameplay is kind of... It's not the longest, so I'm going to end this commentary here. I might have a little bit more of, you know, comparing and contrasting to do here, but there's no time for it, so I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Feel free to go check out Razor Bosa, since he just got this amazing gameplay, and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the amazing stuff they produce. And as I've said in the beginning of this video, my link will also be in the description, so uh, if you enjoy this commentary, feel free to come and check me out, but uh, Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, perhaps leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm so in love with you.